my sweet summer is gone. My sweet summer is gone. Hey guys, so for today's video, I'll be doing a back to school hair, makeup, and outfit video. I know that we're all mentally crying inside and having breakdowns because school is coming back. You have to accept it. I know for some people they're not going back in another month or some are already in school. I'm going back August 12th, which is in a few days, and I'm not mentally prepared. But I decided I would show you guys some hair, makeup, and outfit ideas because, I mean, who doesn't like ideas? This video is also a huge collab with some of my YouTube friends and I collabed with them before, so it's going to be X Simply Cassie X. She's doing a school supplies haul. Grayson Riley, and she is doing like a morning routine with some DIYs in it. Erin Nicole, and she's doing a back to school expectations versus reality video. And Avery Kate, and she is doing a school lookbook. So, after you're done watching this video, don't forget to look at their videos. They'll be linked down below, and don't forget to subscribe to all of them. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is just getting my hair out of my face because it gets extremely annoying when it's in my way. Then I'm going to be moving on to moisturizer, and I love moisturizer for school especially because I prefer it over a primer, and it just moisturizes your face because you don't want a dry face. Then I'm just going to rub that in with my fingers. Then I'm just going to be putting on a Nivea lip butter to moisturize my lips and it's in Raspberry Rose Kiss by the way. And then moving on to foundation and foundation is totally optional but I didn't have any BB cream at the moment that was my skin color so you can go for BB cream instead. I just wanted more coverage than just doing a concealer and powder but it's totally up to you. Then I just rub that in with a stippling brush. Next, I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm pretty sure it's in the shade 20. And I'm putting it under my eyes and on any imperfections, and I'm rubbing it in with my Real Techniques sponge. Then I'm going in very lightly with my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer, and I'm just using a complexion brush to lightly brush it on. So I'm just going to go in with this CoverGirl palette in Notice Me Nudes and I'm just going to be putting the second lightest color on my lid and it's just a shimmery brown color and this eyeshadow look is kind of intense but that's honestly just because I ended up getting too much of the product and then I'm taking the little bit of darker brown and then the darker sparkly brown and just putting it into my outer corner and like my crease kind of and I'm just blending it a lot together because as I said I got kind of too much product and it was a little bit too harsh for me but then I just blended it all together and it looked okay and then I took the lightest color and I'm just going to be putting that into my inner corner only for the highlight. But if you close your eyes. So now I'm just going to be putting on some eyeliner and it only takes me like a minute to do so that's why I decided to do it. But if it takes you longer or maybe you just don't like the intense look of it, then you don't have to do it for school. But I just made a really thin line and I just did it on both eyes and yeah. <laughs> And all of my flaws are laid out one by one A wonderful part of the mess that we made We pick ourselves up So then I just put on some powder And I like to do my powder kind of towards the end Because my face tends to get kind of shiny or oily While I'm doing the rest of my makeup So I just tuck the Fit Me powder and put it all over my face And then I'm curling my lashes And I'm going to be applying just some mascara And it's the Roller Lash by Benefit And I like it because it's not too intense but it still shows up because I don't really want it too intense of a look because the eyes are already pretty intense with the eyeshadow and everything. All of your flaws and all of my flaws, they lie there hand in hand. Ones we've inherited, ones that we learned, they pass from man to man. There's a hole in my soul, I can't feel it. So then I just did my other lashes and my bottom lashes also and then I was completed with the look and I like it because the face is very natural but it still adds like pop and stuff on the eyes and I think it's really pretty and everything and then I just took out my hair 
and here is the look. So next for the hairstyle, I just start out by brushing my hair all out because I didn't want any tangles obviously. And yes, my roots are so bad it's kind of funny, but I just brushed my hair out so it was all smooth. And then I flipped it over because I was going to be doing a half up half down hairstyle because I like it. It works for lots of different hair types and I feel like it looks good on lots of people. So I just took it and then I also brushed it out because I wanted it to be smooth and like have no bumps. So I brushed it out and then I grabbed my rubber bands and just tied it all around my hair obviously. And I like this hairstyle also because you can play with it, you can tighten it, you can make it more to the top of your head, you can just make it look really unique. So then for the outfit, which I actually really liked, so starting off with my denim jacket, I don't actually know where it's from because it's my mom's, but you can probably find it anywhere. Then my black dress is just a t-shirt dress from Brady Melville, and my shoes are... I think they're like Kathy Jean or something, but I got them from a random shoe store. And then my backpack is Tilly's. And I really like this outfit also because it's just really simple and cute. And it fits most dress codes for school. And it's good for the beginning of school because I know it's pretty hot. enjoyed that video if you did don't forget to thumbs it up and comment down below any requests for future videos or back to school videos because I love to know also subscribe if you'd like to see more my goal for the end of the year is a hundred thousand subscribers by the end of 2015 so that could happen that'd be amazing so subscribe because that'd be cool anyways I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you all next time bye